Hello, hello, hola, hola, it's hola nature. Hola familias, bienvenidos a todos to the Hola Nature podcast. I am your nature-loving, Spanish-speaking, pumpkin-carving host, Naomi, and I am so happy to have you here on this week's episode as we learn all about pumpkins. If you are new to this podcast, let me tell you a little bit about what you can expect. We are going to learn how to say pumpkin in Espanol, and we will also start to memorize a fun Spanish rhyme all about pumpkins with the help of some of our forest friends. I am also going to blow your mind today with a few amazing pumpkin facts. Now, let's not wait any longer. Let's jump right in and say hola to nature. First things first, familias, we need to make sure that we know how to say pumpkin in Espanol. Now, this word is used for pumpkin, but it can also be used for other squash depending on the context and the country that you're speaking Spanish in. The word is calabaza. 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 Excelente! While we're learning all about calabazas, I want to teach you a few Spanish words to talk about the different parts of the calabaza. If you went out to a pumpkin patch and found the perfect calabaza, you would bend down and pick it up and grab it by its tallo. 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 What could tallo be? That's right, it's a stem, a tallo. Now let's imagine we take this beautiful calabaza home and we cut off the top of nuestras calabazas y encontramos las semillas. Semilla is a seed, semilla, semilla. Super! And pumpkins aren't just for decorating, they're also super, super deliciosas también. We cook and we eat la pulpa. Pulpa. I feel like this word is just too fun not to say it a million times. Pulpa. That's the yummy meat of the calabaza that you could eat. La pulpa. Fantástico! Now you can talk all about different parts of the calabaza in Espanol. And now it's time to... Oh, yay! Some of my favorite visitors are here. They're little forest fairies that live in the woods near my house and they love learning Spanish almost as much as I do. Aditas, come on in! ¿Qué pasa, Calabaza? Do you have new names this week? Sí. ¿Cómo te llamas tú esta semana? Pumpkin first. Autumn. Pumpkin. Oh, what a beautiful nombre. Qué nombre lindo. ¿Y tú cómo te llamas tú? Autumn. Autumn. I love those names. ¿Hace frío en el bosque? Sí. Is it too cold? No. Oh, what are you doing to stay warm? We um have we live in a big big pumpkin. <gasps> wow, that sounds amazing. Les gustan calabazas? Sí. Si. Les gusta comer calabazas? Sí. Si. How do you eat them? What do you do to cook we, them? We pick up the seeds and roast them with butter and cinnamon and salt. Ooh. And then we serve them with pumpkin pie. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Okay, genial. Now it's time to learn our poema de la semana, and this week it's all about... That's right, exactamente, calabazas. We're going to just learn a few lines of the first part, and if our, all of our friends listening at home want to learn the rest, they can find it on this episode's blog post on my website, ninosandnature.com. This poem is called calabazas and it's all about different calabazas and how they look or how they feel let's try to make our voices sound like each description we read and maybe our listeners at home will do it with us listas sí. okay repeat after me calabazas grandes calabazas grandes what does that mean Big pumpkin. Yeah, big pumpkin. Let's say it again. Calabazas grandes. Calabazas grandes. Calabazas pequeñas. Calabazas pequeñas. What's that? Tiny pumpkin. Yeah, all right, so let's say those together. Repeat them after me, okay? Calabazas grandes. Calabazas pequeñas. Calabazas grandes. Calabazas pequeñas. Excelente. Okay, here are the next two lines. Let me know if you can figure out what this calabaza is feeling. Calabazas furiosas. Calabazas furiosas. 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 What does that mean? 
pumpkins angry. Yeah, angry pumpkins. Let's say it one more time. Calabazas furiosas. Calabazas furiosas. Furiosas. Muy bien. And then the la the next pumpkin is feeling a little silly. <laughs> Calabazas risueñas. Calabazas risueñas. 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 How do you think that pumpkin is feeling? Yeah, a little giggly. All right, so let's do those two together. Repeat them after me. Calabazas furiosas. Calabazas risueñas. Calabazas furiosas. Calabazas risueñas. Muy bien. All right, let's say it all together. Calabazas grandes. Calabazas pequeñas. Calabazas furiosas. Calabazas risueñas. Muy bien. Así se hace. Bravo, aditas. Muchísimas gracias por su ayuda. Now, if our friends want to hear the rest of the poem and learn it in Spanish and English, can they just head to my website? Sí. Niñosandnature.com? Sí. Is there anything else you want to say before you fly back to a bosque? I'm going to go swim in the pool. Oh. Adios. 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 Gracias, hadas. Wow, that was some estupendo learning, my friends. Lo hicieron super, super bien. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the show. Everyone, hold on to your calcetines. I don't want to blow your socks off with these super cool hechos sobre calabazas, but they are pretty wild, so prepárense. This is where I ask you... Sabías que... Sabías que... Sabías que... Did you know... ¿Sabías que la calabaza no es una verdura? Es una fruta. Now, I know when we think of fruit, we normally think of sweet, yummy things to eat, like apples, manzanas, peras, pears, or melones, melons. But did you know that any plant that produces a seed-bearing structure is a fruta? What? Does that mean that cucumbers having semillas are fruit? Yep, pepinos son frutas. What about peppers? Sí, señor. Pimientos are fruit, too, porque tienen semillas. So you know what that means about calabazas, right? Let's think. Do calabazas have semillas? Oh, yeah. Sí, las tienen. Entonces, la calabaza es una fruta, not a vegetable. ¿Sabías que Las calabazas tienen cientos de semillas. Now, just how many seeds do you think one calabaza could have? I want you to take a minute, close your eyes, and imagine una calabaza normal. Not too grande, not too pequeño, just an average size. Now imagine cutting off the tallo, reaching your hand in, and scooping out todas las semillas. ¿Cuántas semillas puede tener esta calabaza? Do you think there could be 50? ¿Puede haber 50 semillas? ¿O 100? ¿100 seeds? Guess what? There would be even more. ¿Sabías que una calabaza tiene más o menos 500 semillas? You could grow 500 calabazas with all of those seeds. Okay, this is the last one, and honestly, I can't stop thinking about it. I just can't believe that it's actually true. ¿Sabes cuánto pesa la calabaza más grande del mundo? The world record was just beat this octubre for heaviest pumpkin on earth. Do you even want to know how heavy this calabaza was? Now, first, take a minute to say a number and make a guess for how big you think a calabaza could get. How heavy? Okay, let's see if you got it. La calabaza más pesada del mundo pesa 2,702 libras. What? 2,702 pounds? That is as heavy as a Pacific walrus. Can you imagine una calabaza tan pesada como una morsa? What do you even do with a calabaza that big? How many semillas do you think that calabaza has? Nature is just amazing. Oh gosh, I'm sorry you guys. My hamsters, Nacho and Peep, have been so on edge today. They keep looking out the window and I don't even know. Oh my gosh, is that a hawk wearing a purple tutu holding my daughter's favorite stuffed bunny? I, I gotta go save this bunny, I'll be right back.
<laughs> I can't believe she fell for that one. Although, I do paint a pretty realistic picture. I feel like we've been waiting for 10 hours for her to notice that ballerina hawk, don't you? Sí, pasamos horas y horas esperando y ahora tengo tanta hambre que no puedo mover ni un dedo. You're hungry again? You just ate. What do you mean you can't move? I just saw you on that wheel a minute ago. Bueno, pero aún así me duele la pancita por hambre. Me dijiste que fueron al huerto de calabazas la semana pasada, ¿verdad? That's right. I saw the bearded one unloading the pumpkins from the trunk last week. After they came back from that pumpkin patch party. I think they must have carved them by now. And you know what that means. Semillas de calabaza en el compost! That's right. It's compost time. I bet there's tons of seeds just waiting for us. Do you have that little wooden key you carved for the window? Si, señor. Aquí está. Vamos! Hey, todavía hay hojas. Yippee! Leap diving, here I go! Okay, let's hurry. That fresh pile of compost is waiting. Uh, tengo muchas ganas de comer estas bellotas, Pete. told you once. I've told you a thousand times. Those acorns give you stomach aches. You were root toot tooting all night last night. Save your appetite for those pumpkin seeds. Oh, está bien. Semillas de calabaza. Semillas de calabaza. Semillas de calabaza. Pip, cuidado. Un halcón de verdad. Toma, halcón. Wow, Nacho, where did you learn to throw acorns like that? You got the hawk right in the eye. Nadie le va a hacer daño a mi amigo. You saved me, Nacho. Now I'm extra glad you didn't eat those acorns. And you could scare that hawk off. Okay, we've almost got to the compost pile. Let's go. Mmm, huele a Oh yeah, I smell it. Nothing beats the smell of composting food scraps. Now, where are those pumpkin seeds? Semillas, semillas, semillas. Hmm, aquí hay... Uh, cáscaras de naranja. Uh, tallos de broccoli. Delicioso. Stop nibbling on those orange peel and broccoli stalks. Only pumpkin seeds can be stashed away in our cage without causing a stink. Let's focus. Está bien, está bien. Uh, oh, aquí está. Nice find. Look, here's a maple leaf we can use to make a maple leaf basket. Oh, there it is. Now, let's fill that baby up and hurry back. Quit punching and help. Oh, yeah, yeah, aquí vengo. Okay, that's as many as we can take. Let's go. Phew, llegamos. Tenemos un montón de semillas ahora. Qué ricas. That should last us until the next time we can sneak out. Nice work, buddy. Vivo para comer, Peep. Ya sabes eso. I do indeed know that eating is your life. Here she comes. Quick, stash those seeds and let's pretend we're asleep so she doesn't suspect us. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. Someone left an incredibly realistic painting of a hawk wearing a tutu in my driveway. It took me so long to get a ladder and get it down from the tree they put it in. Hey, why is my window open? Weird. Well, anyway, I can't believe all the awesome Spanish learning that we did today about pumpkins. You learned that pumpkin in Spanish is calabaza. Calabaza. Muy bien. We also learned the word for stem, tallo, tallo, seeds, semillas, semillas, and the meat of the fruit, not vegetable, is pulpa. Pulpa. Super! We also started learning a great new poem all about calabazas. And remember, if you want the full poem in English and Spanish, as well as some super cool Spanish freebies for this episode, head over to the podcast page of my website, ninosandnature.com. 
If you love this podcast and you can't get enough nature-based Spanish learning, check out my online Spanish courses and curricula for families. I have courses for kids of all ages, and there is something for everyone, whether you are a bilingual family or a total beginner. There are crafts, science experiments, lots more poems and songs, all kinds of stuff to help you learn Spanish outside with your family. Find those on my website under Spanish courses. I loved learning all about calabazas with you and I cannot wait for next time when we get to say hola to nature.